we have perfect conditions for what I'm going to do. Uh, we have a bright full moon. It's just coming up. We've had terrible weather for the last few nights and all of a sudden it cleared up and it's just beautiful. Now we have a problem out here with raccoons and the raccoons are coming to the deer feeders and eating the record rack deer feed in there and our cameras are taking lots of pictures of them and the coons will wind up pooping in the feed and, and of course the deer aren't going to eat it after that and they run the deer off so we want to get rid of the raccoons. They got smart hunting them during the day and really the best way to hunt them is at night. Now if you're going to do this make sure you get permission, make sure that you're safe, make sure that uh, it's legal. But uh, this is down here on my place, and so we're going to go out and we're going to give her a whirl. But uh, I've got a couple of tools I'm going to tell you about. First off, I'm shooting a Savage HMR. This is a 17 caliber rifle. And it's a little rim fire. Okay, it's just deadly on small varmints. But on top of it, you'll notice it has a, a Laser Genetics ND3 light. It has an on-off button at the back of it, and when you turn it on, it casts a beam out. It's this little collimator on here, where you can adjust it either wide or tight and it has adjustment for windage and elevation, so you can wind up adjusting it where it is exactly the point zero with your rifle. You can see a long, long ways with it. One tip I'll give you if you're gonna do this, you wanna use a variable power scope and turn the power down. It's gonna give you ability to see more light. Uh, another thing I'm using, the big brother to the ND3 is the ND5, and it is a, it looks kinda like a flashlight, okay? You'll notice it's got the little green color to it, and on, the ND5, it has an adjustment where you can make the beam either wide or tight. So I just hold it up on top of the blockers, scan around, or I can go out there and I can just shine up in the trees and if there is a coon around, he's gonna show up. Got him. That's a little boy coon right there, a boar coon. And these guys right here are mean little guys. They will get on these deer feeders and they will keep the deer from eating the deer feed. And again, this, uh, this right here is the ND3 that's mounted on a little bracket that attaches to your scope. Again, it has adjustment for windage and elevation. If you're gonna do this, if you're gonna go out and do this, make sure that you have permission make sure that it's legal in the state where you are because we we air in all across the country and uh, make sure you're careful when you're hunting at night you got to really really be careful but uh, you get one of these laser genetic lights and it's an equalizer <laughs>